Xbox Live Arcade presents some game that's in some arcade. Created by Rare, with a little trademark symbol on the end. Hello there ladies and gentlemen, my name is Angus McCallum, also known as King Zangos, and this is the first episode of my Banjo-Kazooie Let's Play. Yes, you heard me right, Banjo-Kazooie Let's Play. So, why did I choose Banjo-Kazooie as my Let's Play? Well, first reason, Banjo-Kazooie is a really, really, really simple platformer to get hands with. And I think it's one of the most underrated classics of, like, these times. Like, it used to be a big title back in the day, but nobody's really paid much attention to it in the recent days. But... Nevertheless, Banjo-Kazooie is like a Paragon for me. It's a Paragon for like a really, really good platforming game. Second, this game was pretty much my childhood. Uh, I used to play this game to death all the time, and even though I didn't complete it, I still loved it and cherished it with all my heart. Now, what I should note, so let's get started, but what I should note first is that this is the Xbox Live Arcade version, not the Nintendo 64 version, because sadly I don't have a Nintendo 64 with me. And it's a lot easier. So the difference, as you can see right here, is there are leaderboards and achievements. That's not in the original game. And we're not going to go much into the achievements yet. I'll go into them later. But for now, let's go into the main heart of the game. So, Banjo-Kazooie is a 3D platformer game created by Rare, also known as Rare at the time. And it is considered by many to be one of the best platformer games for the Nintendo 64. But we will be starting our adventure. So what we do is we have... Well, no, well, what do we do? I guess, what are you saying? Rawr. So what we have is we have three parts. These are basically save files, so you can choose between one and play the other. Now, the first part is a part that I'm doing co to coincide with my Let's Play. It's a run that I'm doing to help me get used to, like, Banjo Kazooie. Like, help me remember the game itself. The second one was actually a failed run, so we're just going to erase that now. Sorry, Banjo, the soup is off. I've got to press A. And the third part is my 100% completion run. So this is going to be an 100% completion run. That's going to be all the jiggies, all the notes, all the mumbo scores, and all the empty honeycombs. And as you can see, this is a copyright infringement. Banjo, stop playing the Game Boy! But nevertheless, we're going to be focusing on the second part because nobody ever cooks with Banjo. So, let us begin! In a dark, misty land, where the green smog rains across... There lied an evil witch. She was not like other witches, no. She was ugly, she was foul, and almost every single one of her words would rhyme. This is the story of Gruntilda the Witch. Ding pot, ding pot, by the bench! Who is the nicest looking wench? Why, it's Grunty, and day, she really takes my breath away. <coughs> Yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. Oh, uh, but there is this girl. What do you mean? This cannot be. There's no one prettier than me. Why, it's Tootie, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. No, no, no! You must be mad! Nicer beauty can't be had! 
Unfortunately, I think you'll find it's Tootie. She's cute and kind. Ah, I won't stand for this! No pause there. Well, we'll see about that! And then we focus our story on Spiral Mountain, a glorious valley where bears seem to live, but there's no honey. Not yet, anyway. Hi there, Judy. What are you going to do today? When my big lazy brother wakes up, we're going on an adventure! And what is our hero doing? Sleeping on the bed like a lazy git. What a way to start off an adventure, eh guys? Wake up! I want to go on an adventure too! <laughs> if Tootie thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks and ugly she'll be! Is that your brother? Where, Mr. Mole? I can't see him! Up there in the sky! I don't think so! Who is that? Come to me, my little pretty! You'll soon be ugly! What a pity! Let me go, you ugly old hag! Don't scratch and don't bite, my little bear! You'll soon need bigger underwear! Oh no! She's got her! Somebody! Help! Vangel, wake up! Now! Uh, uh, what do you want, Kazooie? Let's get outside! There's trouble! Uh-oh! Right, we start our main adventure of the game. Now, as you probably could have told, Banjo Kazooie has a lot of writing. I mean, a lot. Now, this is Banjo's house, so this is like his main place. We're not going to really visit it much, except for one part of the game. But for the moment, we're going to be exploring the land ahead. But first, let's talk to an old friend. Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and here this is my buddy Kazooie. Sure, it's a strange-looking buddy, Banjo. Can I talk? Better than you can, Kazooie boy. What was all that noise? Where's my sister Tootie? The ugly witch cartoon has swooped down into the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Geeky. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to a mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go up there. Try saying if you want to... Well, yeah, okay, I don't need to say this part. Now, this part is, you can choose to either accept the training or decline the training. If you accept the training, you'll have to go through all the tutorials and the basic controls. But if you decline the training, you basically have all the moves right from the get-go. But because this is a new Let's Play, we're just going to say A. We'd like some help, Bottles. What do we do now? Explore this area and look out for my molehills. Stand next to them and press X to call me. See you soon! So... We're going to venture forward into Spiral Mountain, which is the first hub area of the game. And a very pretty one of that. I mean, come on, look at this map. It's so pretty! Blue skies everywhere! But that's not what we're here for. We're here to rescue our sister Tootie. So, let us talk to Bottles. Uh, anyone home? Hello again! Let's start with the camera controls. They're on the right stick! Jeez, that's nothing special. Try this then, Beaky! Tap the right or left bumper to move the camera behind Banjo! Is that all, Worm Breath? No! Hold the right or left bumper to keep the camera behind your feathery butt! Try it out! I'll see you at the next molehill! So as you can see, as he said, we just move the right bumper so we can zoom in the camera like that or we zoom it out. And then if we press forward, pressing Y, and we look up, left, yada yada, we already used that, but yeah, that's basically just the camera controls. I spy with my little eye, something hexagonal. Hexagonal, goddammit. <laughs> right, next molehill, let's talk to bottles again. Whee! Hmm, your jump could do with some help. Ha! I think moles know about jumping. More than you, press A to jump and hold it to jump higher. 
So this is jumping. So if we hold A, we jump very high like this. Come on, Feathers, you can give him a hand. Why? I'll look silly and I know it. Jump, then press A again in the air for a double jump. Technically, this isn't a double jump because you don't jump mid-air mid board. It's, it's kind of more like an extended jump, so it's kind of like this. That's it. We're ready to move on. Not until you learn this one. First, you must stand like this. What? Wear ridiculous glasses and a silly grin? I'm not listening! Hold the right or left trigger and then press A for the mighty flash flip. So if we crouch down, we press A, we do a backflip. This is a very helpful jump. That's all the jumps, keep practicing. So we'll just keep practicing the jumps. So this is the normal jump. So that's just me tapping A. If I hold A while jumping, it does this. And if I double tap A while jumping in the air, it does this. An example to show that, it will be able to do this. So it'll be able to extend, so yeah, very helpful. And then for the final one, where I crouch down and press A, I backflip like that. Now. You're probably wondering what this is. And we can't get up there normally, so let's try the backflip. Wahee! And let's grab it. I'm an extra honeycomb piece. Collect six of us to increase your energy bar. Yep, that's basically simple enough. There's six of them that you can collect. Well, six of them in this area. We've already collected one, but what extra honeycomb pieces are is if you collect all, if you collect six of them, you get an extra life piece. So right now we have five hit points. So if we collect another one, it will increase our total from five to six. Pretty simple enough. Now we've got another molehill. Let's talk about this. Fancy learning to swim underwater? Ooh, sounds difficult, and I'll sure get my fur wet. Come on, Banjo, I want to swim. Spill the beans, Specky. Use the left stick to swim on the surface to swim on the water. Press X to dive. Go on, give it a go. Again, swimming mechanics. So we jump down, press X, we dive on the water. While underwater, Banjo can press A to kick his legs. And the winged wonder can press X to use her wings. So A kicks yourself like that. A is really just to kind of get yourself in position while swimming. X is to do like a stroke, so that makes you go faster and faster. We're going to be using X for most of the time, but if there's like a tight corner, uh, we'll use A. But as you can probably see, there's a life bar whenever you're underwater. If that runs out, you are dead. That is an instant death. So do not let that run out. Um, and another difference, that cannot be increased at all, so you have to be really careful. But regardless of that, we got our second extra honeycomb piece, so let's get out of this clean water and let's continue our adventure. So sorry about that guys, I had a little bit of an error with the Xbox, but don't worry, it's all over. So as you can see, there is a golden piece over there, but there's something else. So, let's try our new learn jumping ability. So, let us hold A here. Whole day again, and let's do the double jump. And we've got our third piece. Three out of six pieces already collected? Fantabulous, we're about halfway done. But what's that you say? Well, why don't we try double jumping over there? Look out for me, I'm an extra life. Pretty bare minimum, extra life. And that was the life counter, so we have four lives. Basically, whenever we die, we lose a count, and if you lose all of them, it's game over. Nothing too shabby. But we found another one more Let's talk to it. Hey, Banjo, I hope you're not afraid of heights. I'm not. Tell me about flying, Root Muncher. Not yet. Banjo, jump onto a tree and use the left stick to climb up or down. Basic climbing mechanics. Jump on the tree like this. You'll find plenty of other things to climb. Yeah, so there's stuff like ladders, and there's also rope that you can climb, but for the moment we're just climbing trees. And of course, there's another extra honeycomb over there, so let's just quickly get it. So, we collected four out of the six. Perfect. We're on our way to go into destiny. But we still got two more that we need to collect, and the last two are in these two areas right here. And now we go over to the scary rocks, with the scary eyes, which is a quick thing I should mention, almost everything in this game has eyes. Almost everything. Let's talk to Bottles. Whee! My beak barge attack needs the help of all chicken legs. At least I've got some leg short stuff. Hold the right or left trigger and then press X for a powerful beaky barge. So, crouch so if we crouch down and press X, we do a beak barge. She betcha? She is useful for something. I'm trying this move out on you next, Jam Jars. 
So if we go over to the block and we murder the block. So yeah, this just offers good practice. So we just have to keep doing that. Smack. And finally, smack. And an extra honeycomb piece. So we got ourselves the fifth out of the six. So only one more to go. And the last one is up here. Banjo, it's time for you to learn the claw swipe attack. What is it? I must know. Simply press X when standing still or moving slowly. Sounds good. What can I try it on? Well, how about bird brain? Just try it, Bala boy. Only kidding. Let me find something with a challenge. Ah, there's tougher. Whack him, Banjo. So this is the claw swipe attack. We are not really going to be using this attack at all. This is pretty much it. It's very slow, and it only does one point of damage, whereas the rest of most of the moves in this game do, so we're just going to be using the other ones, but for now, we have to test it, so... Wow! Nice one! Try another! Hey, I want some moves! Now try my fearsome forward roll! I want to learn a fly now! Roll by running and pressing X, I'll see if I can find ball for you to practice on! So this is the roller die. This does, I think, two damages, like two points of damage. So, and it's a very good way to kind of go across. So let's destroy the bow, bow. <laughs> Bullseye! One more. Stop rolling. I feel sick. Hiya! It's time for the buzzer to learn a trick. It had better be good one, Squinty. Try out the run a tat tat rap by jumping and pressing next in the air. Now, where's Collie Wobble? This is the best attack move in the game. I love it. It's pretty much versatile because you can keep your you can pretty much change your direction but still kinda keep your momentum. So let's destroy Collie Wobble. Mmm, not bad, Feather Face. Give me another bug's eye. Or bug eyes. Die, Collie Wobble! And Sorry, boss. That's it. You've learned all the basic moves. Meet me at the top of Spiral Mountain and I'll tell you what to do next. So, we got the six out of the six. And we got one extra honeycomb piece. So, now we can take six hits instead of five. Dyke! But yeah, now that we've collected all the things, we can finally head up to the infamous Spiral of Spiral Mountain. Why is it infamous, you may ask? Well, it's a spiral in the middle of a valley. I really don't know where I was going that, with that, but either way, we'll climb up the mountain and the terrain starts getting muckier. So, we are now on the top of the mountain. Well done guys, you're ready to tackle the witch now. We show, her our, show us the way, Bottle Boy. I fixed the bridge so you can cross it and enter Gruntilda's lair. Thanks, Bottles. Look out for me inside. Good luck. Interesting quick trivia I should note, if you come up here, but if you've um, accepted to do the training, but you haven't done all the training moves and you come up here, the bridge is actually going to be down, which prevents you from actually going up at all. So, it's important to do the training before you go up here. But, that is it. That concludes the first episode of our Let's Play. In the next episode of Banjo-Kazooie, we'll be heading into... The scary witch's lair. See you guys then. Ah, I thought I turned that to busy. Give me a sec.